My name is Ema Reeves and I'm a Principal Investigator here at RCSI with the ALF1 Foundation. My research involves investigating ALF1 antitrypsin deficiency and the involvement of a white blood cell called neutrophil and how this neutrophil leads to airways disease. ALF1 protein itself, it's produced by your liver and your liver produces a lot of ALF1 every day and as your liver is making it, it attaches different sugar residues to the surface of the ALF1 protein. And I refer to this as being sugar-coated alpha-1. And during pneumonia, as the patient is getting better, they produce a lot of silated alpha-1. And this silated alpha-1 is good for your body and it's good for health. Um, now we want to build on this background information and we want to understand whether silated alpha-1 is produced in other um, acute and chronic diseases. Patients who are alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency, they get treatments which are infusions every week where they get an infusion of purified alpha-1. And we believe that this silated alpha-1 will have greater anti-inflammatory capacity. And therefore, this, um, infusions of silated alpha-1 may have an additive benefit effect and will be a therapeutic benefit to patients with alpha-1 deficiency. The Health Research Board and the Medical Research Charities Group Joint Funding Scheme will provide funding for a postdoctoral researcher to explore the enhanced anti-inflammatory effects of silated alpha-1 and the ability of silated alpha-1 to dampen down inflammation.